users and businesses that are using Copilot Code Review, they are closing PRs 43% faster by having this as a part of their review process. Welcome, Elle. Thank you for being a GitHub Checkout. Hi, nice to hang out with you, Andrea. So tell us, Elle, how can GitHub Copilot help us review code efficiently without compromising code quality? Today, I'll be talking about Copilot Code Review, which is our AI assistant that helps review code and increase developer productivity. What Copilot Code Review does essentially is help automate repetitive parts of the review process, making it easier and more streamlined for large PRs to get reviewed faster, making sure that we're adding context for reviewers so that they don't miss things that they otherwise might, and making sure that we're keeping review quality consistent across teams. Today, I've set up a demo that is mimicking one of our use cases within Copilot Code Review today. So I'm building a simple GitHub action that takes a pull request and summarizes the changed files grouped by language. This is just a basic action. You can see some of the code here. And since I work on code review tools, this kind of helper is actually pretty relevant to the type of work that we do. It's conceptually similar to how Copilot Code Review decides when to trigger different analyzers like CodeQL or ESLint in our agentic workflows. So let's get started. I'm going to commit these changes and pull it up on a new branch. That's going to create a new pull request for us to get reviewed. And I'm creating that pull request. And because I have automated reviews set up, Copilot was immediately added to my review and is conducting its review. And this is where things get interesting. Today with Copilot Code Review, now in public preview, it's powered by compute and actions. And we build a new workflow, Copilot Code Review. And when you click in, you'll be able to see some of our different jobs populate, which is going to show how Copilot Code Review's agent is orchestrating a variety of different tools to run the review. So you'll see here we have our agent, which is the main LLM detection tool that we're using to identify problems within the code base. We also have auto validate, which is how we're introducing different linters like ESLint, PMD, and more. And then also at Universe, we announced the introduction of CodeQL also being included within the review. So these three things are running in parallel. They're reviewing the code and ultimately going to leave feedback on the review itself. So if I jump back to the pull request, another thing I wanted to share that was recently announced at Universe is the ability to actually view the session of the agent's work in progress. Okay. So if you go here, now we're in mission control. This is a relatively new user experience for our users. And you can see here our agent, the code review agent, calling a variety of different tools to pull in context that is relevant to the review. It's listing the directory of code to look things up, it's reading the code, it's understanding the code base, it's making a plan, it's storing its comments, and ultimately going to use all of that information to post the review. Switching back to a pull request, I've prepared one just to share today. This is the exact same pull request with the exact same code, but instead of waiting for the code review to complete, which would take about, I'd say, another minute or two, I'll mm -hmm. show you one review that was conducted on the same code. So first things first, Copilot Code Review will leave a pull request overview. This is what I was referring to earlier when I mentioned summarizing the context for a reviewer when they are trying to come in and do their review for the first time. It highlights some of the key changes, and it also provides an implement suggestion button if you want to click this and hand it off immediately to Copilot Coding Agent to resolve all the issues found. Scrolling a little bit more deeply, I'll pull out some of the comments that are new and more unique to our agentic code review service that we launched at Universe. This first example is an example of Copilot code review identifying an issue with the actions.yaml and where the code disagrees with the input that it requires. This is a type of mismatch that would actually break the code and shows how Copilot's ability to pull context across the entire code base is helping it protect the code that's being introduced. I have a few more examples that show similar things like how missing an await would actually cause the action to freeze and then ultimately maybe compromise the user experience and a few other examples of the types of issues that Copilot Code Review might notice. So let's say I really like this last example. I trust the suggestion that Copilot might come up with. I will implement the suggestion, which will just call Copilot Coding Agent to create a new pull request based on this feedback. If I comment on this here, Copilot will actually create a stacked PR on top of this review and hand off to Coding Agent to resolve the issues. 
What's very nice about this experience is it also will deduplicate across the other comments and resolve any potential conflicts that might exist. So as you can see here, what's popped up is a Stacks PR created by Copilot Coding Agent. If I click in, I'll see that it's referencing the triggering comment. And now Coding Agent is on its way to resolve the issues identified in the code review. So that looks great, Elle. I, I am super excited to try this out on my own PR review process. At the beginning of the session, you showed us how it's enabled by default. How do you do that? Right now, I actually have a repository rule set up for this language action repository. I can take you over to my settings and show you exactly how to set it up. So the easiest way to set it up is by going to the Copilot section within the settings clicking on code review, and there's an option here. Sometimes if you don't have rule set up, there's a quick button that you can just click and it will create this rule for you on by default. And if I click in just to show you what the rule itself looks like, you'll see that there's this setting automatically request Copilot code review. If you select that, that automatically does the review. And then if you click into it, there's a few more automations that you could also configure based on your preferences. You can have Copilot review based on new pushes to the pull request, or actually automatically review the draft PRs before you expose the PR to your team. Okay, so at the end of Copilot code review, I get this beautiful report that's gonna help me start my own review process. And I believe you can actually customize that report. Can you tell us about that? If you are noticing, especially in that agent session, that Copilot code review is going in a path that you don't necessarily think is the right one, maybe it's not applying your org standards or your repository standards as expected, you can actually customize Copilot code review using repository and organization custom instructions. So by leveraging Copilot instructions.md, the instructions MD directory, or organization instructions, you can inform the type of review that Copilot is going to conduct, whether it's focusing on specific practices based on the programming languages your organization does, or if it's uh, specific types of issues that you want to make sure that Copilot never misses. That's the type of thing that you could put into a natural language markdown file, add it to your repository, and then Copilot will consider that as a part of its review. This is great. And one thing that was launched at Universe, which I'm super excited about, is that it now utilizes CoQL for the analysis. Can you say more about that? Yeah. So one of the great things about being at GitHub is being able to benefit from the different tools built across many teams. And one of those tools is CodeQL, which is a premier static analysis tool served in a lot of security and quality scenarios. And we've taken a subset of those CodeQL alerts and essentially folded them into Copilot code review. And the benefit of this is by introducing deterministic tools like CodeQL or auto validate, we are able to essentially always ensure that the most basic or in-depth issues, we can consistently find them without having to entirely rely on the non-deterministic ways of an LLM. And so this creates broader consistency in the reviews that we are conducting. Okay, this looks amazing. So it's in public preview right now and we have customers that have been using it. So what's been the feedback so far? Yeah, so the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. What we've seen is increased retention in our users who are using our Ingentic service. We're seeing a massive quality improvement in terms of the thumbs up that we're getting on the comments, which soft plug, if you're using Copilot code review, please use the thumbs up, thumbs down. That really yes. helps inform the quality of our product. And this is only the beginning. What else is there to come? What are your plans for this feature? As we announced at Universe, the introduction of these tools, both deterministic and non-deterministic, helps us build out and improve the quality of our review, but that's just the beginning. There's so many more tools that we can add and give our LLM agent such that it can make even smarter, even more in-depth reviews. And you can build on top of that with our new code quality feature, which allows users and anyone who'd like to try to actually review the entire repository and identify quality improvements. So we're gonna continue building out the breadth of impact of Copilot code review. I look forward to that. I'm ready to have this enabled. I mean, I already have it, but how can folks enable it uh, both as individuals? And then if you work for an enterprise, how can you get this working today? Copilot Pro and Copilot Pro Plus users have this on by default, which is great. I uh, hope you all are trying it. And for our enterprise and business users, it is enabled through a policy. So we have a policy called opt into preview features. If your enterprise admin selects that, that will auto enable this feature for them. Great. 
El, thank you so much for bringing us Copilot Code Review. I'm excited for this agentic future where Copilot is not only helping me with my code, but also helping me review it. Yeah, thank you for having me. And that was your first look at Copilot Code Review. 43% faster PR closure rate. Sign me up. Don't forget to give those thumbs up and thumbs down on Copilot suggestions. As El mentioned, your feedback directly helps improve the quality of the reviews. And if this was helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel so you never miss another feature update or dev tip. Push those changes to main and we'll catch you on the next release.